Hello. It's Roxanne Baker from uh, Baker and Molasses at the Movies. And I'm doing another solo show. I believe Gus is still in Detroit. And um, I've been listening all day to the Next Best Picture podcast. And these four or five, I don't know how many people there are, <clears throat> they're having an absolute blast talking about movies. And I thought, doggone it. I'm doing another solo show because I started this thing a while back wanting to talk about movies and just hasn't been uh, consistent and that's okay. I'm going to just shout out when I want to shout out, right? And the thing that sort of annoys me is that um, everyone's talking about Oscar predictions and they're talking about nothing that's been out this year so far, which I get, you know, it's always the... You know, November, December are usually the big films. But I don't want to leave out some of the films that were there earlier. I almost think it's analogous to uh, us folks that got the vaccine like good soldiers early on. And now they're giving out prizes to the people that were the lollygaggers. It's like, okay, is that fair? (laughs) Anyway, so I want to give a shout out to the movies that I loved already. And I think are worthy. Annette, for the love of God, I'm so sick of people mocking that out. It's melodrama, yes, but so is opera. And it's a rock opera, so get over yourselves. It's supposed to be over the top. It's supposed to be too full of itself. That's what it's supposed to be. I listened to one podcast where they're complaining about that song, We Love Each Other So Much, how they went on and on. Yes, that's the point. Their relationship didn't have any substance, so all they had to talk about was how much they loved each other. So it was kind of a fake love. It wasn't true, deep love. They each show that in the movie, what happens to them. They weren't really that much in love. They just kept convincing themselves. It's like some of the dates I've had where the date stops and says, aren't we having the best time? And it's like, if you have to stop and comment on do a meta comment on it, probably we're not having the best time because we would be losing so much track of the time that we wouldn't have to stop and do the third eye on it. So anyway, Annette is worthwhile. It's genius. The Sparks Brothers. If you don't get their genius, then you need to go watch their documentary. And I know you're going to mock out how I just said that. Let me try again. Documentary. Um, go watch it, the Sparks Brothers. Then you'll get what they're all about and you'll appreciate Annette. So I'm still saying Adam Driver deserves a nomination. I don't care what anyone says. And the fact that Leo's Carax, one director at Cannes, says something about the film. So stop dissing Annette. I'm tired of it. Okay, what else is good out there? Um, Pig, for Pete's sakes. Pig is a beautiful movie. It's quiet. It's gorgeous. Nicolas Cage is amazing. So is Alex Wolf. I mean, what more do you need in a movie? It was beautiful storytelling. Um, Adam Arkin is good in it. I mean, there you just can't get a better movie than that. So again, let's not diss that. Um, what else has been good? Okay, Roadrunner for documentary. (laughs) Let me say it again, documentary. Uh, Come on, that's a great, well-told story, honest, didn't give him an out, didn't feel sorry for him for committing suicide, but also didn't lambaste him. People understood that he was in pain. Uh, I even think Undina was commendable for a foreign film. Again, I know, like, there's a lot coming out. I get it. But, again, I don't think we should be um, just throwing out these other ones. Okay, two more I want to mention. In the documentary column, Summer of Soul. Lord, help me. That was a good documentary. Showed the joy of the people had back in the 70s. It taught me why Charlene Hunter Galt so important. Um... It was just a beautiful, beautiful tribute to African American and R and B music and gospel, obviously. Uh, Zola, come on, tell me about it. Riley Kehoe 
deserves a nomination. I would even say Taylor Page deserves a nomination. Janica, Janiza Bravo deserves a nomination. That was a great movie. It was inventive. It was unique, which I guess are two synonyms. But again, I think that's really important to shout out. So again, I don't want to throw out everything that's already been done. Don't throw out us uh, people that have already got the vaccine. Can't we get a pat on the back? Again, can't these movies get a pat on the back? Soon or later, Gus and I will return to the mic together. Until then, when I feel the need and the passion, I'm going to shout out. So thanks for listening today. Bye.